Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. It's been a shocker of a morning today. It's a sort of death by a thousand cuts, unfortunately, where you're trying to get certain things done, but you've got loads of little things done and it feels like you're not getting anything done, but it's just because you don't want to do those little things. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. Anyway, I've uh, been uh, ordering something and uh, it looks like I've got at least part of my order. There are very there are a few small things that please me, and uh, one thing that pleases me is buying pens. I do like pens, and I did have a particular type of pen I like to use. In fact, I'm just going to see if I have any. I did manage to buy kind of the last box in existence. It's amazing that I just remembered where those were, and these were yes, the Sanford PhD, and you can see I've got. Um, three here and I think one of them might be used. Yes, I've got an old used one. So I was sort of keeping old ones for spares. And uh, I've got, um, that means at least several have been used and discarded and, and lost. And these were a sublime pen. I mean, the, the writing, um, oh crikey, no, I've kept them so long they don't work anymore. But in terms of comfort, balance, everything, wonderful. I really, these are a superb pen and I'm still gonna keep these. I'll get some refills for them and uh, you know preserve those. I think these are using a, a, tra a traditional Sanford refill which is great. So once you once you fall in love with a pen it tends to be the only pen you ever use. So that was kind of my semi-investment pen because they weren't that expensive, they weren't that cheap but you, you sort of respect, a, respect them a little bit more when you buy a, a real pen. So um, ignore this sort of travel threaded sewing kit. That was just to bulk out my Amazon order because to buy an Amazon add-on, you need to spend a certain amount of money. Now, this is, and, uh, you can see here, this is a high quality Japanese product and it's sort of just slung in a bag. So it hasn't come in a box, not in a nice presentation box. But this supposedly is a pen that's made by uh, Mitsubishi of all people. And uh, everybody says you should try it because they say the ink is sublime. It comes in a 0 0.5 and a 0 0.7 and I've got the uh, 0 0.7 uh, refills for, I think this is the black and this is the Jetstream. So Uni Mitsubishi Pencil, the Jetstream. So the Jetstream I'm hoping is going to be my next pen of choice. They say it's very well balanced and very useful. Um, it does come in various models so you can get sort of cheap throwaway versions and you can get slightly expensive ones which will be less throwaway which so this is the kind of more less throwaway type end of the scale first impressions um yeah it's okay it's it is a little bit light i'm gonna say that it is a little bit light but it's it's not bad um construction and you can see here it's a, it's a mitsubishi pencil company it's a uni jet stream and this is the four and one. And the reason it's called the four and one, it's got 0.5 millimeter ball pens, but four of them and um, a 0.5 millimeter pencil. It says sharp here. And this is their new diamond uh, lead pencil technology that they sort of claim. And looking at it, you've got here, you've got black, which is cool. If you remember those pens you used to have at school, so you've got black, blue, green, and red. I mean, you can see it's it's almost like you can't accidentally uh, extend it. You kind of have to push it down and then push it, you know, kind of almost in and back up again for that sort of to lock. So that's kind of weird. So I'm seeing four here. I don't know how do you get the fit. Oh, and look, that's the pencil. The pencil is the actual doofer. So that's nice. I'm guessing in the end, there's going to be a little eraser. There usually is. I'm um, not sure how you change the leads. I don't think you, oh, it's blocked even. You don't change it down the end like you do on most pencils. So great, that's the kind of overview. I mean, um, let's try the black. Whoa, you saw that just started writing straight away. So it didn't even need any priming. No priming. I'm kind of glad I got the 0 0.7 because 0 0.7 feels like it's going to be a little bit uh, nicer for my style. I kind of like a fatter line, but I'm not going to complain. It's a very sharp um, pen. It's 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 going to be really great if you like using your pens for technical drawings and things against rulers and stuff like that. But that is really good ink. In fact, I'm probably pressing too hard. I probably don't need. To, yeah, I don't. You don't need to press very hard. 
So that's the blue, that's the red, that's the green. Oh, and there's the black. So let's see, how do you load up these things? So these are the nano dia, nano diameter, I guess. Blended high quality LEDs. There's loads of little LEDs. There's 40 pieces in there. Um, I'm guessing you might have to look inside. So we'll do our little tear down. Yeah, that's pretty traditional though. The multi pen nibs load. And I'm guessing to change them, you just pull them out. Yeah, you just pull them out as per usual. Reasonable amount of ink in there too. And a really generous gel section. So it's not going to leak in your pocket. I'm going to pop that in. And I've seen variants of this where you can have two colours or uh, one colour or three or so. You know, they've got they've got them all set up and some of them don't have the pencil. But I think the pencil's a cute addition, I, I think. Oop, all right. So the pencil doesn't seem to want to pull out. Does it pull off this way? No. Does it unscrew, maybe? Uh... <laughs> Now, I'm going to plane with fire here. Ah, sugar. Okay, great. <laughs> it does pull out. <laughs> and it has, it actually did. You could see there were several LEDs already in it. So those are the little LEDs. They're just sort of sitting in there. So obviously you can load up the tube as many as you need. Let's pop that back in. And we're going to try to figure out how to actually extract them then because it wasn't instantly obvious to me on that. Oh, no, it's just come out that time. Right, so let's try the pencil. Pencil works. And a 0.5 mil pencil is actually just right. I mean, that feels better than the um, ink in a way. And that's because the pencil, when you, if you imagine the ball pen, you've got like a kind of point. Yeah, there's the ball on the end you're doing with that. But the pencil, you have imagine you've got the same diameter, but it's kind of a, a wedge shape. I was almost going to draw it like, you know, 3D style. But there you go. It's like a wedge shape. So you, it's much fatter when you use it. So that's... Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. OK, well, that's good. I think um, I'm quite happy with that. Um, would I consider getting a more fantabulous one with a different colour scheme or something? Maybe. Um, they do come in sort of red, pink, purple, any colour you want. The base, basic models, the basic models are about 2 99 On Amazon, I found the basic models are 2 99 These ones, I think, start coming in at, um, I think I paid £12 for this with the set of LEDs and I might have got the ink separately. I think the inks were about seven pounds a set and these are just black. You can get a sort of colored set, but I thought realistically, I'm probably not gonna run out of any of the other colors so much, the blue, green or red, because I'm more or less gonna use the black probably in the pencil more. So it just seems if you're gonna buy the pen though, get some set of refills with it because you can shove those in a drawer and then you have them. So you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, I think that is the, uh, it's, a, it's a pencil worthy of an engineer and uh, I'm kind of aware it's really dark in the video because it's black absorbing all the light, but I think it's nice. You've got your rubberized grip by the way too, so that'll help fatigue if you're into writing essays, but I think most of us are typists these days. Hopefully if that's been of some use to you. Please like, share, subscribe if you're that way inclined. Comment down below and as ever, Thank you for watching.